look at the pass for the lead once again. Jeff Bullard went down to the bottom and took his brother upstairs. Okay, he's in the loose stuff up there, and he just barely grazed the wall, but that knocked the toe in out, and normally shifts the rear back just a little bit, makes the car drive fast. White flag this time by Jeff Bullard all by himself. Ruggiero went way high on Worley, and it'll cost him. Wayne Anderson drops down to the bottom, takes third away from Ruggiero. They're not done yet. Jeff Buller is all alone. The race is for second. Worley trying to hold off Wayne Anderson. Ruggiero for fourth. And it's Worley for second place. Anderson third, Ruggiero fourth. They all bang bumpers. Checkered flag, Anderson drops under Worley. Worley, Seth Worley will hold second. Wayne Anderson third. Reggie Ruggiero, Rick Fuller, and in the wall, off Tim Air go four, oh, Carl, man. five, a huge smash at the finish. And much of that seemed needless, although the one car that spun down to the bottom of the racetrack and back up may well have dumped some fluid down that caused the rest of those cars to pile in. There is the one car getting way loose, that's, midpoint of the field. That's Tim Harris over there in the grass. He comes right back out to the outside here, and everybody sees him there in the racing groove. One car slows up, another one makes contact into the outside wall, and this just starts a chain reaction. That just doesn't stop. Oh, that is a hard, hard lift. Russ France, the last car in, and in hard. Track crews going to his aid and also to Tim Ayers. And after the checkered flag, a lot of cars hurt here, and hopefully not any drivers. Seven cars involved. We'll be back to talk with race winner Jeff Fuller right after this. Pretty much, and I had the I had the wheel caught. The right rear is losing air, as you can hear it right now, and. I really don't think I got him up out of the groove. I mean, he got up a little bit there, but there was really no contact. And uh, the draft worked real good down the back stretch. I mean, that's where I got the momentum up to get underneath him there. And uh, he was a little tight. He was pushing a little bit. But, uh, man, I am just so happy for the crew. And, uh... Hey, Ralph! Yes! Yes! We finally won a race! Yes! Well, I tell you what, that is probably one of the most unusual Victory Circle interviews I've ever known. I've not... I've done, known Jeff Fuller for a while. I didn't think I knew you that well. But was this the best modified you have ever driven? I'll tell you what, you know, Billy Colton and the guys and uh, these guys here, these Sunoco guys, they did such a good job setting this up. They worked ever since we got here Thursday and uh, completely had the car all apart twice. Uh, Billy Colton right here from Troy has did a, a hell of a job. I'll tell you what, my hat's off to them. I mean, the, the thing was a piece of cake to drive. You probably could have driven it. Well, hey, how about that, Mike? Next time Jeff Fuller wins, you can come down and interview him and get try. a kiss. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I've driven that car, and it is a lot of fun to steer. Fuller wins it. Satch Worley second. Wayne Anderson third. Reggie Ruggiero fourth. Rick Fuller winds up fifth. That's it from Nazareth for Ralph Shaheen and Buddy Baker. I'm Mike Joy. Let's go back to Steve Evans with the challenge of five.